Uh, my question po to you has to do with this. Eh. Um, everything was, uh, at yung events uh, after that hearing uh, and your statement, which you personally made, uh, were predicated on your assurance that uh, pwede pala at bibigyan namin ng, uh, ng provincial authority kaya huwag na po kayo mag-alala, Kongreso, wala na pong problema yan, uh, hindi na po kayo kailangan magmadali sa prangkisa. It was all predicated on those statements made by commissioner uh, uh, by the commissioner and by you yourself po. Apo. Well, uh, ito po ay based on, on opinions uh, at that time no? uh, by uh, several persons. But after uh, studying carefully, uh, also opinion from several uh, 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 persons, uh, distinguished personalities, uh, pinag-aralang mabuti at uh, naging conclusion ko kasi dyan is talagang hindi pwede. No? Uh, can a resolution of Congress substitute the Congressional Franchise? Mm -hmm. Uh, yun po yung uh, naging, naging recommendation ng legal staff na hindi uh -huh. pwede. It has to be a valid uh -huh. congressional franchise. Actually po, I agree with you po. Uh, I have the same view. I actually have the same view. Uh, ang ano ko lang po, eh, kasi nga, sa Bakit assurance ninyo, sa assurance po ninyo, eh, hindi tuloy gumalaw ang prangkisa lalo. <laughs> well, at, at, at that time ho, kasi may mga opinion ho na suggesting na pwede, etc. No? So, uh, the uh, commission Commissioner at that time uh, during the hearing said na po pwede, no? But uh, pinag-aralan mabuti, eh, you know, uh, hindi naman po pwede na, na you just decide on the matter. Uh, kasi uh, we might be violating the law. Uh -huh. So, ang naging uh, kwanho dyan, naging findings is we will be violating the law if we grant provisional authority. Okay. So, yun po yung naging uh, final uh, conclusion ng aming legal staff. Okay. Commissioner, ang uh, tanong ko lamang po ay kailan kayo uh, nakapag-decide ng uh, maging, uh, ang, uh, maging decision nyo po ay hindi kayo mag-issue ng uh, provisional authority to operate sa ABS-CBN? Uh, well, it took quite some time our legal staff namin kasi uh, when we are under uh, ECQ, so hindi sila makapag-meet uh, uh, regularly and uh, based on several uh, opinions na uh, being aired and, and issued by uh, uh, several personalities, so uh, then pinag-aralan nilang mabuti. So, uh, as I've said... When uh, was the... F uh, pasensya na po, Commissioner, when was the final decision made? Uh, yesterday morning. Only yesterday? Yesterday morning. Kasi uh, one is, uh, any decision kasi will uh, uh, border on yung freedom of speech, freedom of expression, yung mawawalan ng trabaho, yung mga nanonood, nakikinig. So talagang these issues really will affect uh, many uh, persons, mm -hmm. etc. So, we have to be very careful in the in uh, our decision. So, talagang pinag-aralan mabuti because uh, ang masisisi at the end of the day is SNPC, no? So, mm -hmm. uh, we have to uh, uh, comply with existing laws para ang aming decision is anchored on strong ground. Okay. So, yun po ang nangyari. Kailan po naman natapos o nagbigay ng final uh, uh, decision or conclusion po ang inyong legal team para mapag-usapan po ng commissioners? Uh, it was uh, Monday. No? It was Monday. Kaya nga uh, nag-end uh, nag bank session. No? Although all of these are online. No? All of these are, uh, are, are by phone, etc. Opo. Uh, Ilan... So, uh, yesterday uh, morning po yun. Ilan po ba, paano po ba ang nangyayari? Um, ilan po ba ang commissioner ng NTC at ang nangyari po ba ay nagbotohan po kayo? Yes, tat tatlo po, tatlo. We have the chair, the, the commissioner uh, acting as the chair uh, of the uh, NBank, of uh -huh. the collegial, kasi collegial body of NTC. And we have two uh, deputy commissioners, isa po ako sa si deputy uh -huh. commissioner LS. So, uh, nag-deliberate uh, uh, po kami over the phone, uh, uh -huh. etc. So uh, after uh, <clears throat> deliberating on the uh, issues raised and on the uh, recommendations uh, submitted also uh, online, etc. So we came to the unanimous po kasi ang conclusion dyan, ang decision dyan is to issue the CDO.
Mm -hmm. Pero uh, Commissioner, I understand what you're saying. Na if you issue a uh, if you issue a provisional authority now uh, against the advice of your legal counsel, uh, you might have uh, legal issues uh, sometime in the future, especially from uh, after the threats uh, by uh, Soldier Krida. Pero po, at the same time, uh, in previous cases. Uh, for example, yung kaso po ng radio stations ng CBCP, if I remember correctly, labing isa po yan, nag-expire po yung prangkisa nila at uh, hindi po uh, binigyan ng kongreso ng prangkisa ng is mah mahigit isang taon ang CBCP radio stations, hindi po nagsara dahil hindi nag-issue ng CDO ang NTC. Apo, mahigit apo. isang taon po bago maglabas ng prangkisa uh, ang uh, kongreso, uh, actually, pero patuloy po ang presyon. Uh, yes, kasi po uh, during those uh, time, yung, yung Congress, uh, the, the last Congress po yun eh, mm. um, there were exchanges of uh, letters and uh, notes and information. Uh, Congress saying that uh, while the uh, application for renewal is pending deliberations of Congress, mm -hmm. uh, let it operate. Uh, so well, is it that the same service now? No? Oh. We did not do anything. So they continued operating, yes, uh, facing out on the exchange of letters, etc., etc., et yes, until sir. the franchise was granted. Yes, but sir. in this particular case, uh, there were cases filed uh, questioning the validity of the franchise, and there were several opinions already uh, being circulated, etc., on the issue. So, hindi puede. Now we just leave it there. <laughs> hindi po puede, because it has become uh, an issue that has to be decided. By the commission. So ito po yung difference noon eh, nung panahon na yun at uh, ngayon. Mm, yun po yung konteksto. So iba po siya, iba. Mm. So we have to decide. Otherwise, uh, ma, 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 pa, uh, we'll be accused of speaking on the issue while mm -hmm. the issue is being uh, uh, pun, uh, deliberated I, I understand to po. many persons. I understand okay. po. Pero the cases filed po were not uh, with regard to the provision authority that was not even granted by NTC. They were with regard to the co to petition filed uh, by, for example, Soldier Krita, which is separate entirely from, because that, that, ref that refers to an existing franchise at that time. It's not yes, uh, the but, same uh, as uh, whether or not you will grant a new uh, franchise. Oh, uh, uh, but it is on the validity of the franchise. And there are other uh, cases filed by other uh, lawyers and uh, mga opinion po kasi naglalabas na napakaraming opinion on the matter mm -hmm. and for us not to uh, make a decision eh mukhang hindi po kwan eh, hindi katanggap-tanggap so with, uh, with so many already circulating opinions left and right etc mm -hmm. and the cases filed so hindi pwede na you just sit on it no? hindi po pwede pong ganun eh Apo. and Com so uh, we wait all of this no Yes, we had the uh, balancing act, etc. Kasi mahirap po decision talaga ito because, uh, as I've said, it borders eh, on so many issues. Mga freedom of speech, freedom of expression, mm -hmm. mga wawalan ng trabaho, mm -hmm. mga mga yan nanonood, etc. So talaga napakahiram na decision na. Actually po, we, don't wanna be, we wouldn't want to be in your position. Po. Yes, <laughs> oo. Pero Commissioner, uh, tanong ko lamang po, hindi po ba'y nag-issue rin kayo ng Certificate of uh, Good Standing sa ABS-CBN? Yes. Kasi doon so, sa application for renewal, yes, we do not have anything against the renewal of the franchise. But it has to be renewed before we can grant any authorization. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, well, Commissioner, like I told you po kanina, uh, I think we have agreement there. Uh, you, you, you are in a precarious situation. I understand how awkward it is for you. But you were talking kanina about yung all the considerations that you have to bear in mind. Yung, yung mga trabaho ng mga tao, press freedom and freedom of expression and all that. Uh, but given po all these uh, elements that you have mentioned po, uh, I don't want to put words into your mouth. That's why I want to ask you this question. Eh. Uh, kayo na po magsabi kung tama po hindi. Uh, sa, sa, intindi ko po kasi sa sinabi nyo, uh, wala naman po kayong problema doon sa, sa ABC ben per se. Eh, kaya lang ang dami kasing uh, mga umaalma at uh, may mga kasong sinampa kaya kailangan ninyong ilabas ng CDO ngayon. Uh, so, would that be a correct interpretation po? Kailangan magdecision. Whether it is a CD or whatever, and we have to come up with a decision because the uh, issue is raised already. Na. So we have to rule. And uh, based on uh, all the possible options, eh, there's only one uh, option that is the best option. 
least we need to issue the CDO. Otherwise, we will be violating the law. Mm. So, ito po yung naging, naging kanyan, naging conclusion. Mm-hmm. But, Commissioner, you do realize po that uh, when you were appearing uh, before Congress uh, in February and March, uh, the presumption there was that uh, the, the issues had been studied uh, already and uh, poured over already judiciously by your legal staff and by you yourself before you appeared in Congress, uh, wherein you gave that opinion. Uh, well, as I said, said no, because there are many opinions that uh, are available. There are opinions that uh, are with the resolution, etc., etc., so, uh, kaya yun po naging statement at the time. But after uh, uh, um, studying very carefully yung uh, matter, uh, the issue, etc. So, yun po yung naging conclusion eh. Uh, mahirap po talaga, no? Very difficult to, uh, uh, to decide the matter, no? Hmm. But uh, we are forced to decide uh, because, as like I said, the issue is there. Uh, if we do not decide, then we are uh, remiss of our duty. So we, mm-hmm. uh, we kaya nga, uh, on uh, yesterday we came with that decision no, after Pero, uh, so mm-hmm. many days of uh, of uh, studying the matter very carefully. Pero Commissioner, why did it take so long? Why did it take for um, at NTC to decide? But ng May four. Bakit hindi po na lang, bakit hindi nangyari yung desisyon ng mas maaga at kung na, para po kung nagbago man ng naging desisyon nga ng uh, NTC na hindi magbigay ng provisional authority to operate ay nasabihan ang kongreso man lang before May 4. Uh, yes, but uh, kung kasi you cannot stop uh, the operation na valid pa yung franchise, eh. hindi po pwede. Uh, so uh, you issue the CDO up the expiration of the franchise, kung wala talaga franchise. Opo, na. naintindihan ko so po na video. you issued the CDO yesterday mm-hmm. na kailangan pagkatapos na mapaso. Pero yung pagdedesisyon na nga po na hindi pagbibigay ng uh, provisional mm-hmm. authority ay bakit hindi mas maaga para at least man lang hindi nyo hub, hindi huba na konsidera ng mga commissioner na ito yung commitment na ginawa natin sa kongreso so dahil hindi nyo na nga po masusunod or nakikita nyo iba yung magiging decision nyo, ay nasabihan man lang po sila. Uh, well, I am not privy, you know, whether the commissioner has uh, uh, talked to uh, some of the congressmen or some, and I'm not aware, no, I'm not privy to that one. So, uh, baka naman, I, I really don't know, no, uh, the commissioner's. Uh, if he was, uh, he got in touch with some of uh, the congressmen and senators on the matter. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, Commissioner, uh, just to simplify po yung, yung punto ni Yeng, uh, para lang po nagkakandidin tayo. Parang ang gusto pong sabihin ni Yeng, eh, kasi total, uh, nagbigay po kayo ng garantiya, kayo po at si Commissioner Gamaliel, na wala ng problema yung uh, prangkis ng ABS-CB. Kaya po, naging kampante yung kongreso. Uh, ba- bakit daw po hindi na itimbrehan ang Kongreso na magbabago pa lang inyong isip uh, at uh, bigla na lang kayo naglabas ng CDO the day after mag-expire ng contract, uh, yung franchise, na hindi man lang kayo po uh, nagsabi sa Kongreso na, uh, teka, teka, uh, uh, we will have to reverse our uh, assurance to you, our guarantee to you, uh, and you will have to act as up. Parang ganun po. Well, uh, yes. Hindi ko lang po alam whether the Commission has... Uh uh, gotten in touch, no, with uh, some of the Congress, some of the senators. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, uh, yun ang hindi ko po alam. Pri- uh, uh, I'm not private, uh, private to that one. Pero, so, hindi ko kabisado. Opo, hindi ko pero, po alam. Commissioner, tatatlo lang naman po kayo, di ba? Isa lang din po kayong magdedesisyon. So, at you guys should know na <laughs> alam nyo na dapat yung desisyon nyo. Hindi pwedeng, hindi po alam ng isang commissioner, hindi po ba? So, the decision was reached only yesterday morning. Hmm. Because the end bank session was held yesterday morning. Apo, apo. Kom Cabarius, ano po, if I may po, was, uh, was the decision unanimous? Yeah. Oh, yes. He said it was unanimous. Ito. Opo. Kayo po, in hindsight po, uh, kasi kanina you were talking about uh, several other issues like press freedom uh, or freedom of speech, uh, yung mga trabaho ng mga tao. Uh, at the same time, you were talking about the legal issues na wala pang congressional franchise. From your end po, uh, in hindsight, uh, would you have, uh, how would you have wanted this to have been handled? Uh, compl- 
compliant, it has to be compliant with the law. No, dapat uh, they were able to secure renewal of the franchise, correct? Para wala nang problema, no? But uh, the problem is wala po yun eh, wala pong renewal of the franchise uh, before uh, the expiration of the franchise uh, last uh, May 4. So ito po yung, yung uh, naging ko eh, na ito po yung facts na eh, hindi na ma-reverse eh. So uh, yan po yung nangyari. Mm -hmm. Pero, pero Commissioner, sorry po, pero uh, na, maaaring na-reverse po yan kung hindi po gano'n ang binigyan ninyong payo doon sa uh, Senado at sa Kongreso. <laughs> uh, remember po that uh, March 10 po yun eh, Opo. March or oh, in that week, is it yun eh? Yes po. So, uh, medyo uh, at tapos, uh, they, they, were, uh, they were on recess already. So, medyo uh, hindi na uh, hindi na possible. Hindi na po feasible. Uh, mm -hmm. Hindi na feasible for the franchise to be renewed. Uh,